Hi, welcome back. This is my channel, uh, Faded Limb Vintage. I'm Colleen. So today we are at the Syracuse Antique Show at the um, fairgrounds, at the New York State Fairgrounds in Syracuse. Um, so on the off season for the fairgrounds, it actually becomes like a, almost like convention center complex um, because they have a whole bunch of very large buildings with a lot of open space in the middle. <laughs> so a lot of shows happen here, like car shows, antique shows, um, trade shows, that sort of thing. Um, so today we are at the antique show. Now it is only a weekend show, so it was a Saturday, Sunday. Today's the second day, so let's see that what we can find that we can um, buy and resell on eBay. Um, fair warning though, this is an antique show. I don't expect to be able to resell a lot. I'm here mainly to look and because I've just never been to this particular show. So let's see what we can find. Oh, also a quick explanation of the sunglasses. These are actually my new prescription glasses. And I finally like caved and got the transitions and they're the best thing ever. If you never tried them, I would highly recommend it. It was in the horticulture building on the fairgrounds, which was built in the 1930s. So amazing art deco uh, architecture here. All right, picked up that Viking duck. I ended up buying him. I also bought that little cutie. This is a Mosser fairy lamp. I did end up picking this up as well. I was looking closely to make sure there was no chips, which I did not find any. So that came with me. This was a very full booth. Oh, a beautiful chocolate pot set. I believe it was Nippon, uh, might've been Noritake, but um, I did like this picture picture as well and I took a closer look at that uh, it was actually a hobbyist piece so I ended up leaving it behind because 24 would be about what I would be able to expect from it and these are the you are here Starbucks mugs those can go for quite good money this set of bells was absolutely gorgeous um, I can't remember much about them but they were beautiful oh, here's another one Let's see how I did on the last one. Oh, I think I did pretty good with my purchase. <laughs> Here's some Holt Howard. And they did have quite a bit of Holt Howard in this booth. Uh, everything was priced very well, just not quite enough to where I could make money reselling. And here is a uh, twine holder or string holder. Uh, the Holt Howard Cozy Kitten. These fruit um, wall pockets, I believe, are McCoy. Um, I would have to do a little bit of research, but I don't believe the McCoy uh, wall pockets, the fruit ones, were marked, but I'd have to double check that. Here's some Christmas. Uh, oh, there's a lot of Holt Howard here. And I had to show you the starry-eyed Santa. He was a candle holder as well as a vase, and he was awesome. I almost picked up this little Wedgwood trinket box. For $12 is a good price for them, but I realized there was a chip on the side, so I did leave that one behind. I had to show you guys this booth because it has some really great mid-century lamps in it. These are moss lamps, these two right here, and that's actually California pottery figurines in them, and they're really nice. This is a crystalline vase, and it's really the largest one I had ever seen. And that's a Royal Hager cat in the background, too. I did actually go into that booth to look at that. Um, some Lucite grape bookends. The amber, I wish it was a different color. If they were a different color, I would have picked them up. So many vendors did such a great job. Absolutely gorgeous setup. Everything was very high quality and everyone did a great job. There's a bunch of Fenton. Every, every booth that had glass, I ended up like just going in and just staring for a little while. This lady here, um, 
dressed as a Christmas tree was really funny. All right. So I think that was a pretty successful antique show. I spent $143. I'm really happy with everything I bought. I am a little nervous. I got some Hagen Renickers. I got five different ones, but I didn't, I didn't look them up before I purchased them. I know some of them can do really good and some of them not so much, but they were all on the card and I got a couple of dinosaurs and three dogs. So see how they do. Hi. All right. So we're in my kitchen now. I'm going to do a haul for you guys. Um, in um, all honesty, <laughs> going through that show, I was convinced that I had so much footage. I had like a half an hour of footage and I was going to have to cut it down in order to make room for a haul. And I had five minutes of footage. <laughs> so sorry if this is a short video, <laughs> but let me show you what I got. Um, like I said uh, earlier, I had $143 that I spent. Um, I got six Anna Lee dolls, five Hagen Renickers, and a few other things. Um, I didn't go in there expecting to find a lot of Anna Lee, but it seemed like a lot of vendors were carrying it. So it just kind of worked out that I ended up with some Anna Lee. All right, first off is, I'll do this guy because he's enormous. <laughs> Damn. He's so cute. So he does have some damage on one of the spots on the top of the mushroom, unfortunately. But he's such a happy little gnome. Isn't he cute? And he is an older Annalie. So he is vintage. He has the older tag on him. And he is marked 91. So he is 21 years old, my friend. And he's good size. This guy runs, um, I want to say like $30 plus, um, but because of the damage, I'd put him on the lower end of like $30. So he's super cute. Look at that face. <laughs> All right. And then next up, we have some St. Patrick's Day critters. I uh, I know I'm a little, I'm a little late on, late on the late... <laughs> <laughs> late on the eight ball with that one um I think that's what that's I don't know I get my things mixed up but anyways th these guys are super cute but I'll probably list them but I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of sit until next year for St. Patrick's Day I use them as decor because I I bought them three days before St. Patrick's Day so they were set up in a centerpiece on my on my dining room table if you follow me on Instagram you can see what I did. <laughs> but uh, first off, I have this cute little mouse. Isn't she adorable? She's a little bit of a little horseshoe. And she's holding it the correct way. I don't know if you know, but horseshoes, this way they hold luck in. If you have them upside down and hanging on your wall, they run luck out. <laughs> Uh, this one, I don't see a date. Yes, a 2010 Anna Lee. This is a three inch good luck mouse. And then I also have this little guy. He is lounging on a three leaf clover with his pot of gold and his cute little hat with, with another clover on it. When they're three, they're clovers. When it's four leaves, they're shamrocks. <laughs> um, this little guy is another 2010, a three inch pot of gold mouse. Oh, um, these um, St. Patrick's Day pieces, uh, these little dolls run about 17 to $25, uh, depending on the piece, but that's what I would expect for each one. Um, so yes, there's the pot of gold mouse. And then I have a little hat mouse. I don't know his proper name, but this is a 2008. This one's sitting on top of the hat with some coins. This one does have, I don't know if it'll, if it'll zoom in on that or not, but um, 
it does have some wear on the paint of the tail because the tails are made out of leather from what I can see. And um, it's just the, the white ones, they had to do like a paint for it because it's naturally brown. So, and that paint is kind of wearing off a little bit because the tail has a lot of give. And then the last two are actually a little harder to find. Those I found pretty right off the bat, but this sheet, this cutie little sheep, which is a 2009, is actually a little harder to find. Um, this one, again, I would expect about 20 to 25 for, but she's really cute. And I grew up on a horse, uh, I grew up on a sheep farm <laughs> and my family's Irish Catholic. <laughs> so that one might not see its way to eBay. And this one is actually my favorite, the last one of the group, which is a 2011. This is the 8-inch Dublin Donkey. Isn't he cute with his little hat, which is a, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It is a corduroy hat, and his little tail, and his hair has, like, is kind of shiny. He's so cute. And like I said, this is a 2011 super cute. All right. I just love his face. He looks like an old man. All right. All right. So let me see. What do I do next? Let's do the Hagen Renickers. Um, I got three dogs and two dinosaurs. <laughs> All right. So first one, uh, the Hagen Renickers, I can expect anywhere between um, 10 to 20. Their ages, they're prices kind of range a bit um, but I'll do the three dogs first and I'll do the dinosaurs um so this when I first went to pick it up I thought this little guy was a mouse <laughs> but this is a chihuahua I don't know if you can see that but yeah this is a chihuahua puppy uh, so this little one I the ones I grabbed are all on the card so um so grab the Chihuahua puppy. There's also a Rottweiler. And I got a Chocolate Lab. This one's really pretty. I don't know why I like him Chocolate Lab. He's just so cute. All right, and the dinosaurs, I have a Tyrannosaurus. The dinosaurs are actually the higher dollar ones. Um, those I can expect closer to 20. Um, like 15 to 20. And I also have a pterodactyl. Which is this funny like duck bill on him. It's so funny. All right. So then after that, I have these um, salt and pepper shakers. I did show footage of me grabbing this one. Um, the same vendor that I got this one at, I also got a Viking duck, a fairy lamp, and all the Hagen Renickers. Oh, and the bottle, the um, the pitcher. So this is a ladybug wearing cute little flower as a hat, sitting on top of a flower, which is also a shaker. And he's a shaker. Needs to get cleaned up a bit. I gotta scrub him a bit. At first, I was thinking maybe this is a chip on the inside of his wing. And it is a chip, but it's a manufacturing defect. It's glazed over. It's a shiny chip. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I believe, I looked when I was there, but there was a lot going on. And I actually didn't see that manufacturer's chip. Um, but I don't see any other damage on him or the flower. So I'm pretty happy about that. But if that changes after I like clean him and I notice something different, I'll be sure to put that in the listing. Um, that little guy I can expect like 20 to 30 for. And then the biking duck. It is an amber, um, which isn't quite as exciting as some other colors. But I'm pretty happy with finding anything Viking, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, this is, a, I believe, it considered a five-inch duck. 
and I can expect probably around $20 again for the duck. And I found the, found a fairy lamp. <laughs> I'm all honesty, I might have paid up a little, a little on this fairy lamp um, because it is a mosser, little tiny fairy lamp. I believe they call these glimmer lamps. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but like you can see the Mosser mark there. It is hand painted amethyst. So it's a nice like purple. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> because my green background, sorry. <laughs> but it's got, I believe a rose painted on the front. I just thought it was really pretty. Uh, that I can expect um, 35 plus. I might put this one as an auction just because you never know with fairy lamps right now. They're kind of all over the place. It kind of depends on timing at this point when it comes to fairy lamps. Um, how many of the same kind pop up at the same time. But the last piece I got was this beautiful cased and pulley. You can see it's got white glass on the inside and a green glass on the outside. Um, it's an Empoli pitcher. Oh, that's a little schmutz. I think it might be remnants of a foil sticker on there. But um, with Empoli, you don't see uh, the, wow, words, uh, pontal mark. <laughs> so when they're making the glass, um, this, uh, it would have been hand blown, but the way that they kind of worked it always hid the pontal or they either like rub it away or burn it away. This one you can see there's what could have been remnants of a pontal, but it was worked so that it was gone. But this shape and size, I should be able to get at least 40, if not higher. Um, I did find one comp for 40 of this exact shape, but pretty much all the other shapes were going for higher. So I might, I might have that a little higher. Um, other Empoli pitchers I've had in the past have gone for 50 plus dollars. So we'll see on that one. But, oh, like on the Viking, you can see the, the pontal scar a little bit because what they'll do is they'll have a little bead of molten glass attached to the larger piece of molten glass and that kind of holds it onto this long rod that the artist or the artisan is holding onto. And then that's like the glob they're holding onto when they put it into the metal mold. So it's good. All right. I think that's about everything. I thought this was going to be a little longer, but I think that's all I have for you today. <laughs> if um, you like coming along with me on my adventures, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.